What's up, players? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dan Whitmer of Zen Dude Fitness. Welcome back to day three of our How to Jump Rope Like a Samurai series. Just like we've been building up, yesterday's was an intermediate footwork. Today, we're gonna get a little bit more advanced, and today, we will be covering fast regular bounce, or regular bounce fast, mummy kicks, triple mummy kicks, the single leg bounce, and the MJ step. All right, guys, not wasting any time. Let's get right into the tutorial. Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? So we're starting off with regular bounce fast. And basically guys, look, we're keeping the same regular bounce form that we always have. Elbows at 90 degree angles. The wrist is controlling everything. But look at my feet in this case. Check how low to the ground they are. I mean, we're talking about like only a centimeter and very, very, very close to the ground. So what I want you guys to focus on is having bent knees to make sure to cushion that impact so that you can jump that little off the ground while still being able to spin the rope very fast as you can see here. Being able to do this, guys, will help you burn a lot more calories in a given workout. And also, it's just challenging the and fun to see how fast you can spin. Hopefully one day they have like the, you know, they have a rope where there's like a counter how many spins you're doing, but it's not that accurate. Hopefully one day Zen Dude Fitness will make one. It'll be even better. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, mummy kicks. So for mummy kicks, we're all on our toes here. We're always on our toes when we're jumping rope, but specifically for this one, we are kicking out and we're staying up on the tippy, tippy, tippy parts of our toes and kicking backwards and forwards. Again, keeping that same knee bend and again, keeping that same regular bounce form that we have in every single move that we do ladies and gentlemen repetition and practice is what's gonna get you there guys when I started jumping rope and when I started jumping rope when Brandon started jumping jumping rope excuse me it was not pretty but it's something that you have to continue to practice now triple mummy kicks guys we're still going toes out but we call them triple mummy kicks because we're t we're keeping that one foot out there you see in the mummy the mummy kick we're keeping that out for three kicks so if you see my left leg or my right leg sorry whatever one's touching the ground I tap one two three can as the other one kicks out one two three fastly in a, in a fast way switch it one two three and just keep clicking that against the ground three times and this is it's, it's nice to develop kind of a rhythm to this because this is a something that you can do to the beat of a hip-hop song or electronic song and it makes the, again the workout a lot more fun next guys single leg bounce here we go so single leg bounce we're just staying on one leg this takes a little bit of practice to get used to because it's it's very easy to fall off balance when doing this the one thing I would recommend to you guys and remember your regular bounce form stays consistent throughout this entire workout the one thing I would say is look how low my feet are coming to the ground and why I'm able to do that is because when I think of when my feet touch the ground, think of your hand reaching out and doing a push up. You wanna think of that, like that's how you wanna think of your toes. They're almost going out to grab the concrete or grab whatever surface you're on. Think of it that way and it's actually a lot easier. I know it sounds weird, it's a lot easier to stay up on one leg. All right guys, the MJ step is the last one. Matthew Javier in the dojo. This is a Zen dude legend, ladies and gentlemen. He came to the group one day and was like, Yo, Dan, I know we do feet X's. How about the MJ step? And I was like, dude, that's a brilliant move. Basically, guys, you're keeping one foot stationary, sorry, one leg stationary as the other one comes around front and then middle and then back. So front to middle to back. And you, you alternate the legs that you do this on as you can see here. But this is in honor of a true Zen dude himself, Matthew Javier, so we love you my dude. Thanks for giving this this one because this is a great agility, uh, some agility footwork you can do in every single workout. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for tuning in today, Zen dude Fitness, we love you. If you have any questions, let us know. And make sure to tune in tomorrow for the next video in the series of how to jump rope like a samurai, ladies and gentlemen. Have a Go on. Today on Sunday Fitness, Brian's gonna throw me a jump rope and I'm gonna catch it without looking. Ready, go. Ah, I got it. 